All right, welcome back to Card Talks, where I ramble, rave, and word about my thoughts on training, life, and fitness. Thinking about today, uh, speed under the bar in the Olympic lifts and getting tall, because um, I think a lot of people, they will cut their pull short in order to get under a bar, uh, or they'll get too tall and are really slow under a bar, and so they struggle lifting maximal weights, and that's the big thing, I think, when we're really looking at trying to maximize the Olympic lifts, we have to find the happy balance. We have to get the bar as high as possible, but then we also have to get under the bar. And we, you know, it, consistency across reps is you know one thing with it, but especially if we're doing a power movement, right? we're trying to extend as high as possible and trying to get the body as tall as possible from ankle, knee, hip, up, right? And I think a lot of times we forget about that and you'll see some people, they get really, really tall and they suck at getting under a bar and they spend too much time focusing on that. Um, some people spend too much time getting under the bar and I think that's one of the more common ones you see with people like they're trying to really maximize the Olympic lifts as weightlifters. They try to get under the bar too quickly and they're not extending enough, right? If we really wanna maximize how much we get out of the Olympic lifts, we need to learn to extend. We need to learn how to get that bar moving and get vertical in order to create enough room to get under in the first place. So if you're really struggling, this is actually a great point for people that are better at regular snatches versus regular power, like between power snatches, right? Like if you can really get under a bar but really suck at doing power snatches, you might have one of those issues where you're getting under the bar too quickly and not extending high enough. If you're really good at power snatching but really suck at doing a full snatch, it's the inverse problem. You're probably pretty good at getting tall but suck at pulling under, right? And so when we're looking at weightlifting movements, finding the equilibrium, finding where the highest point you can pull and extend and the tallest you can pull while simultaneously being fast under the bar. So it's one of those little like nuances and this kind of coming off my mind just because it's working with an athlete here a little bit ago um, and talking about that because we've got to find that equilibrium to maximize the lifts. So I'm just kind of rambling now at this point. So until next time, maximize your lifts and we'll see you in the passenger seat.